Many thanks to Fatal Attraction with the servers, Atlas, One Original Dizzy servers, Clash with the servers, Sergeant Pepper's Daisy Invasion server, Sea of Tools Cloud, Neo Farmer servers, BK Free World servers, and Double Tap for making this video possible. The Dizzy devs have gracefully given us two new ways to die in 1.26 with the introduction of infected meat poisoning and the addition of the extremely deadly heavy metal poisoning. So in this video we're going to look at the easy way to survive eating predators and check out the causes, symptoms, and cures of heavy metal poisoning. Any meat that comes from a predator in Daisy will now give you infected meat poisoning with there only being two predators so far, that's wolves and bears. It doesn't matter how you cook it, even if you're Gordon Ramsay, you will get sick very quickly and you will initially vomit when this disease starts. This poisoning or disease is simply salmonella, however the reason you get it isn't simply because all wolf and bear meat has salmonella, because all raw meat in Daisy that isn't fish does have salmonella. In fact, the only change in 1.26 here is that cooking wolf meat and cooking bear meat doesn't remove salmonella from it. This is important to know because the piece of code that handles this not removing disease when it's cooked also does not remove heavy metal poisoning when it's cooked either. This means on Sakao, potentially predators may give players heavy metal poisoning and or salmonella with salmonella being much easier to cure and being nowhere near as deadly as heavy metal poisoning. Now if you didn't know, salmonella can be cured quite quickly using vitamins which boosts your immune system but you can also keep these four stats high and that will be enough to allow you to eat this permanently salmonella infested meat as much as you want. So even though it's impossible to remove salmonella from this meat, even if it's rotten or burnt to a crisp, eating the fat of a wolf or eating the fat of a bear won't give you any issues when it comes to infected meat as long as you cook it. So this does mean that wolves and bears are still useful to get a quick meal, even if your immune system isn't up to the task. In addition, because getting bit by a bear or bit by a wolf doesn't cause this infected salmonella effect, the only way you can get this is if you eat the meat of a wolf or bear and don't have vitamins or high enough stats to stave off the salmonella effect that you're gonna get. So while it is easy to avoid and relatively easy to cure or manage, I still think there should be more of a warning when it comes to wolf or bear meat. There is a description difference between these two meats, but it's not enough really to make you question if it's safe to eat. This looks like meat you can eat because it looks exactly like the other meats in the game, all of which, including fox meat, is safe to eat once cooked. This new illness is caused by volcanic activity on the new map Sakao, which we don't have access to yet and therefore doesn't appear to be on Livonia or Chernarus at all. There are many reasons that we believe this and from a recent Frostline blog post we know that heavy metal poisoning will be contracted from eating snow with strong hints that it will also be contracted from drinking water from the hot springs that are going to be around the map. You can avoid getting this new sickness by using the new filtering bottle when consuming these two sources, so snow or water from a hot spring, but you won't be able to boil water to remove this heavy metal poisoning, at least according to the game files. So heavy metal poisoning, or HMP for short, comes in three different stages. In stage one, which will start very quickly after consuming contaminated sources, you lose around 0.5 water per second depending on how sick you are, and you get shivers every 20 to 40 seconds, so it's not that serious in stage one. Stage two has you losing the same amount of water with pain sounds and the blur effect of pain every 20 to 40 seconds instead of the shivers and stamina regen slower too. A new status effect added in 1.26 triggers at stage 2 which is called deafness. Deafness, according to the game files, randomly reduces your ability to hear for 3 seconds giving you the same deafness effect that you get from a flashbang. Now while in this version of 1.26 we can give ourselves one of the HMP effects using the debug menu, you can't give yourself deafness on Chernarus or Livonia because we have no way to contract heavy metal poisoning. All of this information is just from the game files but you can get an idea of this three second deafness using a flashbang which happens more frequently the sicker you become. Eventually if not cured you will get stage 3 HMP which has all the fun benefits of stage 1 and 2 plus three more status effects that will really make you wish that you cured this earlier. The first additional status effect is distorted vision which happens every 30 seconds for around 8 seconds each time. This distortion offsets your vision and has these black spots rolling across your screen from time to time giving an additional outline to everything the black spots roll over. Sometimes the black spots are invisible, sometimes they completely block your vision. 
While this effect is quite distracting, it can also hide players and objects from your view if you're unlucky. Most of the time, I think this is just going to be annoying, but some of the times this is really going to screw you over or make you question if a player you're about to snipe just duped themselves. In comparison though, this isn't that bad compared to the remaining two status effects of stage 3 with vomiting every 3 to 6 minutes continuously being one of the worst. Not only would it make you a random sitting duck every 3 to 6 minutes, but it drains your stamina to zero and makes getting blood and health regen very difficult. Combining vomiting with the last status effect, a health drain, means that this stage is worse than the worst stage of wound infection, making heavy metal poisoning deadlier slightly, killing you in around 40 minutes minutes from full health but making it much more difficult to achieve health regen during this time due to the periodic vomiting every three to six minutes. To cure this then you will need the newly added collating tablets which is the only cure for HMP as the immune system doesn't have any effect on this sickness at all. One collating tablet will drastically reduce your sickness removing stage one in just under two minutes, stage two in just four minutes and stage three the worst stage in 10 minutes so two of these tablets are going to save your life when it comes to HMP so it's easier to cure than wound infection. These tablets can also be used to remove HMP and cholera from all of your water sources. Simply use them like purifying tablets on water containers and it will make the water pure to drink. However, purification tablets will only remove cholera, they won't remove HMP. This means only the filtering bottle and collating tablets aid you in avoiding sickness from HMP polluted sources. Now how volcanic smoke, geyser explosions and predator meat having a connection to heavy metal poisoning in the game files ties into all of this, we don't know yet, we don't have access to Sakao, so this is unlikely the last time that I will cover this, I will probably cover infected meat and HMP in a future video, this is more of a first look. If you want to learn more about the changes in this patch, see this video, remembering that the details in this video are likely to change and develop as 1.26 is worked on. This is an early version of 1.26, with your feedback being much more important during this phase, so put your opinions below. A big shout out to Jamal for the 5 and Subsonical X for the huge £100 donation recently, much love, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.